to another video. So today is Friday the 13th of September, spooky vibes, and it's actually James's birthday. He is 29, so very close to 30, and I thought I would start a little home vlog. So I've actually took the day off work. I am working tomorrow, but I'm off on Sunday, and I just thought I'd show you what we get up to. But firstly, just going to take you back on the last couple of weeks because I've not vlogged in a while. Um, I did some decorating again, I did a beige half wall like I did in the bathroom but I did it in the hallway, up the stairs and the landing and it took me ages, it was a lot harder than I imagined. I've been doing just lots of cleaning and decluttering. I've actually had some really nice chill days as well. So if you know me, if you watch my vlogs, I'm pretty much go, go, go all the time. Like even on my days off, I'm either making content, shopping, cleaning, just doing stuff. And I've had quite a few nice days where I've actually just relaxed. Spent the majority of my day in the bed, or just on the sofa reading my book watching tv and and yeah just had some much needed days of doing nothing um we took macy on a nice family walk with james's cousin and her children and we actually let macy have a splash around in a muddy pond and she absolutely loved it she's a total water baby like she loves playing with water in the garden and um, you know she pretty much looks like a hippopotamus to be honest so it makes sense and she also went to dog training a few days ago um it's called the dog training academy and it is just adorable she for like nine hours so it's literally like dropping her off at school and she had the best time she made some friends and she was so so tired afterwards it's just really nice to see her happy and have a good time we're definitely going to send her there a lot more we've actually booked her to go to a secluded field the day before we go on holiday which has a ball pit and a pool for dogs which is hilarious and we just thought it'd be a nice little way to tie her out and spend some quality time with her before we go to spain at the end of the month and um, so we're really looking forward to that as well and yeah, that's pretty much it other than cooking. Um, I went for a nice meal with some old work friends. Um, went to an all-you-can-eat Chinese, that was good. But other than that, just pottering around the house and getting stuff done. So on to today. As I said, it's James's birthday, so we've had a nice slow morning. I've done a bit of cleaning. Um, we had a little like birthday breakfast, which is sugar waffles with chocolate and fruit, um, which has become a little tradition of ours. We started doing it when we went to Mallorca on our first holiday about five years ago. Um, so that was nice and then he opened some presents planned a little day for us today and um, just in town where we live so we're going to go for coffee at a coffee shop that have a lot of star wars decor in there um, so i thought he would appreciate that we're then going to go and play badminton at the dolphin center which james laughed at when i told him because he thinks i'm not even going to be able to hit the shuttlecock over the net i did actually play badminton at school for pe but i also got a medal um at center parks when i was about 10 for playing badminton and i always tell him about it so i thought you know what let's go and play badminton he loves sport and i'm not very sporty so i thought that would be something that i could manage doing with him and it would be funny so we're going to go and play badminton for an hour then going to go and grab some lunch i think we're going to go to the indoor market because they have lots of different stalls with different types of food so there's like italian food mexican food and just a lot of different options so i thought that would be nice and then the last thing we're going to do through the day is go to the hope town like railway museum in darlington um it's all been done up and i've not been yet they have a lego room and he likes he likes lego and you know nerdy things so I thought he would enjoy that so we're going to go and explore there and then this evening we've got some friends and family coming around for a little kind of get together not specifically like a full-on party but we're going to do some food I've got lots of picky bits we're going to have some drinks play some games maybe watch a horror film and um, so we've got a really nice day planned and I thought I would just take you along with us and just be able to watch this back as well like I always say the person who enjoys my vlog the most is myself because I love looking back on the memories and um, so yeah that's the plan it's also really sunny but this morning was absolutely freezing Um, it seems that September weather has just took a turn like I'm all for the autumn season but I'm shocked at how quickly it's got cold and I'm already missing being being able to dry my clothing on the washing line. Anyway, let's get going.
cut the video anywhere. Having fun? I would just like you to tell the camera how shocked you are that I'm actually not that bad. I'm a little bit shocked that you're not that bad. <laughs> are you impressed? Yeah, I'm impressed. I'm absolutely sweating though, my hair clips broke. Huh? Guess who was being smart and lost the shuttlecock? Nearly lost our five pound deposit. Very warm and definitely ready for lunch. Okay, I'm going to do the clip You've got, go got to make it red. Red? And then the, ca the carriage was red, the carriage was a red art. Yeah. James is insisting on being a little kid. <laughs> the hole's too small for your head. Be the guy. Yeah, them ears suit you, I think. <laughs> Go put, your head, put your head proper red.
45 moments. This is probably my favorite. I'm just about to hop on board, but it's time for a photo of my picture with this one. You can stand here beside me and make sure you can see the engine in the board too. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so we are now home. We've had such a lovely afternoon. We obviously started with coffee. Well, we had hot chocolates actually at the coffee shop and looked at the little like Star Wars decorations. And we actually sat outside on the bench, um, which was nice. And then we went and played badminton. And as you've seen, James was actually quite impressed or disappointed that I wasn't that bad <laughs> um, but it was so fun and I think it's definitely something we'll do more in the future my arm is killing now though um, from hitting the shuttle hop so we then went and had food we had potato tots and nachos they were really good and then obviously went to the Hope Town Museum so it's nice to have a walk around and we got involved with some of like the little games and the like photo props um, and yeah, a lovely day. So it's about three o'clock now and we're just going to chill. Um, people are going to come around about six. So I'm thinking if I spend an hour just literally chilling because then I'm going to have to clean and start to prep food. So I've got my book. I'm reading Emily Henry Beach Read at the moment, which is really good. I was going to wait to read this on my holiday because it was called Beach Read. I thought that kind of made sense, but I've seen some reviews saying that this wasn't one of her best books and so I thought I'll, I'll read it now and I'll, I'll um, reserve some others for the holiday but actually I'm really enjoying it I'm really really enjoying it um, I'm definitely reading it quicker than the other books that I've read um, I think I'm about halfway so I'm going to read that I'm going to make myself another cup of tea and then I've got a little whisper bar to treat myself to which doesn't want to focus there we go um, so yeah just going to sit on the sofa heater on um, in there because as I said um this morning it was really cold and obviously the sun's out but it is still quite chilly and our boiler stopped working the other day we've got a plumber out who said it'd be about 500 pound fix turns out it cannot be fixed really it needs replacing and it's going to cost two thousand pound which is insane and we're going to have to get it done because we need we need heating and hot water um but yeah at the moment we're just making do with the heaters and yeah, just one thing after another with the house, I'm not going to lie. Um, we're really lucky to have the house we have. Um, we bought it at the right time and I'm so grateful for everything we've got in the house and just having the house in general. But bills are just crazy and then when things like this happen, it's just such a hit because, you know, obviously we don't have that kind of money just saved. I ramble over, I'm going to go and relax. Okay, so I've just been cleaning downstairs and I've come upstairs to have a quick freshen up, get changed and then I'm going to go downstairs and make all the food, make some cocktails and just get everything ready for people coming around and I am tired already so not a good start.
Good morning, it is now Sunday. We had such a good day on Friday. It was lovely having people around, having food and playing games. Um, yesterday I was at work and after work we went to James's parents for tea and then also did our food shop to get that over and done with because normally I go on a Sunday with my mum and dad um, but they're away at the moment. So we got that done and just had a really chilled night. We watched um, the last Grand Tour. We still got a bit left that we're going to watch this morning. Um, and I've had a nice chilled morning. I actually managed to sleep until half eight, which is crazy for me. Um, I'm normally up at like six or seven on my days off. Um, so we had breakfast in bed and I've just... Um, strip the bed, put some laundry in and we're about to walk Macy. I'm going to put my gym stuff on and try and run a little bit when we're on the walk to get that over and done with as well so that when I get back I can shower. We're going to watch the rest of the Grand Tour that we're watching and then James is actually watching um, F1 and two football games so he's going to be just pretty much on the sofa all day. So yeah while he watches those I am going to tackle upstairs get some cleaning and organizing done i'm going to sort a few things for our holiday which is now less than two weeks away which is honestly insane like it's just flown by and also have some time to myself i definitely want to do some reading because there's only a few days till my book is due back at the library and somebody already has a reservation so i can't like renew it and um, might do some coloring might go on my computer and play some games do a little bit of skincare self-care let's have a nice balanced day of being being productive but also relaxing because then tomorrow i'm back at work for the week i'm actually off next friday to get my nails lashes and hair done and um, so i'm having a bit of an mot day i'm calling it I really like just getting the house really clean and organized before going on holiday because there's nothing worse than coming back to mess when you've spent a week in a nice clean apartment or hotel room so yeah the more that i can get done the better let's get ready and go and walk macy you want to sniff? This way, back. Missy, here. Missy, sit. Good girl.
Okay, I'm home. Ignore the mess in the background. That is later on's problem. Um, had a nice little walk with Macy. Did a bit of running. Um, she is absolutely knackered now. I took some videos of her on the sofa. But oh my actual god, James hid like in the overgrown grass basically from Macy. Um, and then she found him. And when he got up, I wish I had it on video. There was a massive thick spider on his leg and i literally <laughs> ran it screaming just saying oh my god there's a spider on your leg bye <laughs> just kept running even though it wasn't anywhere near me i just hate spiders and even james was like traumatized <laughs> not good anyway back gonna go on the show and have a full mot shower i got a new body scrub from dove actually i've got a few things to show you that i got recently and um, so i'll show you those later on um, but I've run out of body scrub for a while, so I cannot wait to use one because I just think my skin just feels so much better afterwards. So yeah, I'm going to go in the shower. Okay, so I've got out the shower, dried my hair, got dressed and done my skincare. I've actually decided to have a pyjama day, so I'm wearing my cool dog mum pyjamas um, because now that we've walked the dog and I've went out for my run and I did the food shop yesterday, I don't have a reason to leave the house. So I've put some laundry on the line and it is so grey and miserable out there. Like it's windy, but the sky, honestly, like it just looks like it's going to rain. So I'm going to keep an eye on that. I'm hoping I can get stuff dry because I've actually like cleaned the bedding. And I do have some other bedding to put on, but the bedding that I've washed is my favourite. So I would prefer to put that straight back on if I can. Um, I really want to get some autumn bedding, but my colour scheme, if you don't know, in my bedroom is teal, blush pink and mustard yellow and obviously a lot of autumn bedding is like oranges and browns and greens so um i'm on the hunt for something that'll go nicely with the room i have the same issue with christmas when i used to live at home and i had a single bed i used to change my duvet like every season i had like a summer one a winter one autumn one um, and i missed that but obviously when you've got a color scheme in the room um it's quite hard to get things to match anyway that says um, our HelloFresh delivery has arrived, so I'm going to show you what meals we've got for this week and then pop all that away. Um, I'm going to watch the F1 with James and make us some lunch, although we do still have a lot of party food left. So plans for the rest of the day, just like I said this morning, decluttering, organising, having a bit of me time um, and just chilling. But I just feel so much better knowing that I don't need to go food shopping or I don't need to go for a run this evening and then have my shower and then do that kind of routine like knowing all of that's done I think it's a nice balance really because on Friday I had a really nice day we went out we had good food like the house was clean like we had people around and then today is just a total like chill day <laughs>
Okay, so I've done a bit of a surface clean in the office and obviously cleaned surfaces and had a little bit of a tidy round, um, but there's still quite a lot of things to do. So please tell me I'm not the only one that ends up with bags of just random stuff gathered in various spots because <laughs> I need to go through those. Um, my sister asked if she could borrow some makeup brush cleaner, which I've got here. So I thought before she comes around to get it, I'm going to actually clean my makeup brushes and I'm going to go through all of my beauty boxes. So I've got some here, some under there. Um, my everyday skincare makeup is in here. So I'm going to go through all the rest of it and declutter and decide um, what I'm not going to use anytime soon. And I will gift that to either my sister Jess or my friend Christy. Um, anything that I definitely want to keep that I will use will stay in these white boxes and anything else will go. Um, I don't think I've got anything to donate because usually anything in these piles would have been opened and used at least once and um, so I'm just going to give anything to Jess or Christy but yeah let's wash these makeup brushes first because this one for example I've been using to blend my concealer and it is absolutely disgusting so they are all due a deep clean okay so this is how upstairs is looking at the moment obviously waiting for the duvet cover and sheets and things to dry so I'm just kind of airing the um, duvet and mattress topper on the landing I've pretty much cleaned all of in here we've got quite a few bits going on here so that's um, some of James's presents um, a bin bag of stuff that we're decluttering there's a lot of stuff in this bag um, that I'm going to be taking on holiday um, and this box has got mostly shoes in so stuff that i need to sort out as well this is going to be the skincare declutter box so i'll bring that with me and um, this is how the bathroom's looking i love it when the sun shines in here got a little candle burning this is the spare room like james's room and the cat's room <laughs> so i've pretty much cleaned up in here and then the office which is now really really bright and sunny and the next thing I'm going to do is tackle all the beauty bits and random bags. So this is how the clear out is looking. I've managed to narrow it down to only one box full of things that I'm going to keep. This is a very um, overflowing box of stuff that's going to go to my friend Christy and my sister Jess has already took a bag of stuff home honestly just crazy looking at how much stuff I've got um it's mainly because over the years I've obviously been very lucky and got a lot of PR products um and the last probably nine months or so I've really really cut down on how many opportunities I've accepted and therefore I've had a lot less products so it just feels really good to have a clear out um Christy uses a lot of beauty products I know that most of these will get good use and, and that she doesn't want she can maybe pass on to someone else um and it just feels good because I know that I've now only got one basket of stuff that I will actually use but yeah I cannot believe the time it's already quarter to five also I don't know what I've done to my eye but it's really really sore um and I swatched some makeup on my hand and it's stained I've literally washed my hand like three times um and it's not come off um but yeah so now that I've done a bit of decluttering there is still a few bits that I want to do upstairs maybe later on but I'm gonna go downstairs and chill for a bit because James is watching the Newcastle game so I thought I'd sit on the sofa with him and watch it whilst reading my book and then it'll be tea time and we're gonna have a hello fresh meal tonight I'm not sure which one I'm gonna do um I'll see which James um fancy so we'll be cooking that um and then it'll be pretty much time to unwind for the evening ready to go back to work tomorrow <sighs> days off just always go far too quick
Okay, so I know the lighting isn't great in here, but I just wanted to share with you a few things I've recently bought. I'm just going to move <laughs> the avocado out the way. Um, so I've got a few beauty things, a few vitamins, and just a few random bits to show you. I'm going to start off with things that I've bought on a TikTok shop. So I've been really interested in vitamins recently because I've been feeling very, very tired and I had iron deficiency a few years ago which is quite bad um, and I was constantly fatigued and I was given some tablets for a few months so now every time I feel that kind of level of tiredness I assume it's the same thing and then I get my bloods done and my iron levels are fine and it just doesn't make sense so I'm kind of like experimenting with different vitamins I've been taking some for polycystic ovary syndrome the last few weeks that I actually got at the start of the year and I'm just really bad at taking tablets I kind of forgot um, but I've been like really on it with taking them the last few weeks Anyway, so I've seen these two on TikTok shop and I thought I would give them a go. So the first one is the Free Soul Apple Cider Vinegar Gummies. My sister's actually had these and recommended them. And you got two for the price of one, which I thought was really good. So me and James are both trying these out. Um, and they taste really nice. Because it was apple cider vinegar, I assumed it would taste disgusting pause the video while my grandma rang me um but yeah they actually taste really good and then i also saw these on tiktok shop it's the nutrition geeks lion's main focus i've heard these are meant to be really good for people with adhd and not that i've been diagnosed with it but i definitely feel i have some of the symptoms i really struggle to sit still and to focus and my brain just feels constantly full and loud and I've only tried these a few days so far but when I have I don't know if it's a placebo effect but I have felt a difference yeah I've got both of those on TikTok shop I'll leave everything that I mentioned linked below but they were a really good price and the other purchase from TikTok shop was this shampoo and conditioner duo from give me cosmetics i've had these before i recently ran out and i absolutely love them they are argan oil and coconut oil um formulas so really good for dry and damaged hair and honestly they smell amazing and a few more beauty purchases so from boots i got a la roche posse cereal zinc spray I got this last year and I decided to repurchase it because it's really good for blemishes and I get quite bad breakouts on my chest. I get eczema, especially in the summer, and the cream that I use to treat the dry skin, part of eczema makes me have a breakout and it's a vicious cycle. Um, so I swear by this to clear breakouts on the body. Um, so I'm going to be using this because I'm soon going to Spain and going to be wearing a lot of dresses and swimsuits. So I want to try and clear up the area on my chest. Got a body scrub because as I said earlier, I ran out of body scrub and honestly, my skin just feels so much better when I use one. So I got the Dove Exfoliate and Body Scrub with pomegranate seeds and a sheer butter scent. So this is what it looks like and honestly I used it in the shower this morning. It smells amazing but it is such like a rich, creamy, buttery, I can't even explain it to be honest. And yeah, my skin felt instantly smoother. I also stocked up on my favourite toner because I'd ran out the Bioma Hydrating Milky Toner which I would 100% recommend if you have dry skin because it is just so hydrating and moisturising and very, very gentle. A couple of Inkylis products. I purchased this one myself from Boots, which is the Brighten Eye Cream because I've got quite dark under eyes, as you can see, and they've got worse recently. So I definitely needed a good, trusty eye cream. And then a gifted product. I've got some blemish patches and also their Sicilic Acid Cleanser which again I've been kind of using on my chest area but also on my face because I have had quite a few breakouts it looks quite clear today um but I have had some bad skin days so when I do have a bit of a flare-up of spots and blemishes this is my go-to cleanser a couple of random bits I've got some new toothbrushes and I actually got soft ones instead of medium which I normally go for because I've had a lot of gum pain at the top of my mouth recently went to the dentist absolutely fine so I'm not sure what's causing it but i thought i would get some more gentle toothbrushes b and i got a pack of three flannels for three pound in this really nice beige color because i hate white flannels because they just do not stay white especially when you're removing makeup and they feel really really soft so i just needed to stock up on some more face flannels 
also got a little perfume just because I'd ran out and I thought this would be handy to keep in my bag and take on holiday with me. Just a couple of gifted products. So I got a natural deodorant from the brand Act. I chose this one because it's suitable for sensitive skin as it's unfragrant. I've done a little tool called the Assistant and look how gorgeous that is. It's locked on the top like this so that as you use it, you can wind it down and therefore you have no waste and you use every last bit. So I think that is a really cool concept. I've been seeing this brand all over socials recently and yeah, I'm just really interested to try a natural deodorant because I've had a lot of issues with like sensitive dry skin under my arms recently. Um, and I also think it'll be really handy to take on holiday instead of taking like a spray or a roll on. Last thing that I thought I would show you after talking about decluttering today, I've received some setting sprays from Urban Decay. I didn't know I was getting these. Obviously, I'm signed up to their PR email. Um, so it was a nice little surprise. And I absolutely love this setting spray. I, I currently have this one already. So my sister and my friend Christy have already claimed one each. Um, and then I'll keep the other two for myself. But they're perfect, especially this size. Is great for your handbag and taking on holiday. So that's all the bits that I wanted to share with you. I'm sorry that the lighting has been so bad. Like it's literally telling me on my phone right now more lighting required. See the days don't feel as long and it is getting darker as we move into the autumn and winter season. So it's definitely more difficult to get content. Yeah, I just wanted to share them all with you before like I start to properly use everything. Um, I'm now going to go downstairs. James has just been to the shop to get us some treats because I'm feeling a little bit rubbish. It's probably just Sunday scaries um, and we're going to watch the rest of Grand Tour because we didn't watch that this morning. So I'm just excited to go downstairs in the living room, pop on a candle, pop on my dressing gown and just relax for the evening. So I'm probably going to just say my goodbyes now. Um, I'm going to end the video here. I will definitely be vlogging next week I'm off Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Tuesday and the week after we go on holiday so some exciting vlogs coming up um, so do stay tuned for those but thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video